Hey, beautiful people. So today I will be reacting to 20 women versus one rapper. But before we get into that, if you are new here, my name is Ashley L. Dalton. And on this platform, I have created a safe space for women to level up emotionally, mentally, and physically. We talk about a range of topics from dating to business to lifestyle to self-love. And of course, the fashion. Every Friday on YouTube, I host a show called Fashion Friday, where women from all around the world can call in live here on YouTube and show me their outfit for a birthday, an event, a gala. And myself and my community here helps them. For anyone who's new, who's not familiar with Fashion Friday, I'm going to insert a clip here from one of our most viral videos. So in this clip, Asia came up to show her outfit that she was wearing to one of her best friend's birthday parties. Let's take a look. So it's my son's birthday, so we're going to New York and we're going to a club. And okay. Yeah, so her man is like driving us everywhere. So yeah, but this is the first dress that I brought. Oh! This, yeah, real sexy. This is the back. But I don't know if that's like too much. I asked her because you know she's the birthday girl. I don't want to like. She's like, no, it's cute. Is this too much? Or her besties man would be driving her around in this look. See, that's practically lingerie, Miss. That's Asia. too much. That's too much. Okay. 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 And you said her boyfriend's gonna be driving y'all around all night. Yeah, it's not just me and her. It's like me. It's like a group of us. That's a lot. We don't want other people man looking at us. But that's okay, a, lot. Okay. a lot of sexy. That's a lot. Just so you all know, Asia did not wear the poster girl bodysuit. She said it arrived and it wasn't given what she thought it would give. It looked great on a model, but didn't fit her body in the same way. So I'm happy we were able to help her out and she went for a black dress. So we're about to get into the 20 woman versus one rapper video. I just want to put this out here that this is constructive criticism. I'm not here to be disrespectful or rude, but I'm just, just offering up a little bit of room for improvement on how the ladies could have shown up. And just in case you're going to be dating a rapper, a baller, a football player, a high value man. Okay? I'm just looking out for you and hopefully some of these tips can help. This is girl number one. I believe she said her name is Tiana and she's 21 years old. My name is Tiana. I went to on Instagram. I also go to school. How old you are? I'm 21. I go to UNCG though. Okay, 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 okay. I think Tiana is beautiful from what I can see. I like her hair. She looks like she's in shape. Now, the first thing I noticed is the poster girl bodysuit. The thing with wearing the poster girl bodysuit, because it is so trendy and everyone is wearing it, we don't know if you spent $1,500 for the original or $20 for like a dupe on Amazon. The issue with wearing trendy items, you end up looking like every other girl. Second, I just don't think this outfit was appropriate for this setting. They're not at a nightclub, they're in a studio, there's bright, bright lights. And I know she didn't feel comfortable because when she approached him, I don't feel like she was that confident. Okay, I'm usually gonna go to the left. So he ended up saying no to her. If you are going to wear an outfit like this, ladies, you have to commit. You cannot be shy. You have to show up 100% confident. If you're going to have your body out, 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 if you are going to wear the poster girl bodysuit, you have to show up with the heels, the pink bodysuit, pink lip gloss, bag, coming up ready. I'm here to be chose kind of energy. It would have looked amazing on her. Would have been like a tennis skirt in pink, maybe a crop top. A nice designer bag. It looks like she has designer and shoe that matches with her hair down. You're 21, girl. Show up, walk through and say hello. Hey, put on the heels. Let me say this, ladies. If you want to date a rapper, we're just talking about rappers. They usually want a woman who dresses trendy, who has the baby hair, who has their hair down to their back who has their toes and nails done, skin is looking flawless, and they are confident. You have to be confident. 
beautiful girl, but she left her confidence behind her. Let's continue. Now we have our second girl coming up. Let's see what outfit she has on. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Another poster girl bodysuit. What did I just say? You wear trendy items. 20 other girls, 40 other girls in the club, in the Starbucks, in the gym, may be wearing the same exact outfit. She does have on a heel. I'll give her that. I can already tell through her body language, she's not confident or comfortable in this outfit. I'm going all right. Uh, you can go to the left. You can go to the left. My boy is. Immediately, he said no. The body suit that she has on, it's not so flattering for her body shape. I would like to have seen her maybe in a black dress. It's something that she would have felt 100% comfortable in. Because as ladies, when we place our hands over our tummy, I've been there. You know, either we're bloated, maybe it's that time of the month, or maybe we just don't feel comfortable. So for this queen, I think something orange, red, pink against her chocolate skin would have popped. A nice dress, maybe a silver shoe. And she would have showed up completely different. My boy is swiping them left. You don't even got to introduce yourself. I'm Yadi. You ain't got to, baby. You can go to the right. Yeah, walk off that way. Go to the right. Immediately, he told her to go to the right. Now, from the outside looking in, if I didn't know them, I feel like they match. The aesthetic matches. And she didn't have the poster girl bodysuit on. She also has this air about her. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. You either want me or you don't, babe. Are you lucky to be standing here in front of me? It's like I can care less energy. There's a quiet confidence about this girl. She committed to wearing all leather, and she also committed to having it hang out. Take it or leave it, babe. Let's see what the fourth girl is wearing. What? My name's Savannah, 22. You know this should be hard. Ladies, ladies. Ladies, ladies, hold on. Let's gather here. Let's let's gather here for just for one second. This poster girl bodysuit is now in the category of Crocs and bonnets. It's worn out. It is done. You guys have worn the Crocs, the poster girl bodysuits, the bonnets. You've worn out. Enough is enough. You ladies are beautiful. You have potential, but I want you to stop blending in. And this is the fourth girl to come up in the poster girl bodysuit. Hypothetically, she did purchase this bodysuit for $1,500. No one will know because everyone in the line has it on. What makes you different? What would make you stand out? Let's continue. Be hard, though. Why be hard? Because like, I don't even be trying to be mean. You feel me? What is it that you got to say to her? She got to go to the love. That little heel, that little kitten heel. No. If you are going to wear a little kitten heel like that, make sure it's hidden. Or you're wearing those little kitty heels because you have a bad knee or you're going to the beach. Young girls put on a heel, a real heel. Something else I noticed is this purse. This kind of outfit, you are here to show off the body. Take the purse off the shoulder and carry a clutch with this sort of outfit. Her hands is in front of her chest. This is a signal to me that she's not comfortable. It's like, all right, I'm going to put this on. I have a great body. I do want to stand out. But, oh, it's so bright in here. I don't know what he's going to think of me. You are going to wear practically lingerie out the house. You better show up 100% confident in this look. There's no, oh, I'm hiding, oh, show up. Hey, how are you? Wear the outfit, don't let it wear you. Let's move on to the next lady. Let's see what the fashions are given. Hello, my name is Z. Like the vibe gives me Y2K, Disney Channel, That's So Raven, Cheetah Girls. It gives me very youthful, very youthful freshman in college energy. Purple pants, the khaki color shoe, the little sweater with the little bunny puff around the collar, the ponytail, and then sunglasses on top of her head. How you doing, Z? Good, how are you? I'm all right. I'm trying to figure out, though. What you trying to figure out? 
You can go to the left. I do. Okay. The one thing she needs to improve is just mature the look just a little bit. Doesn't mean she ne needs to look like a granny. It doesn't mean she needs to look super old and super conservative. But maybe like jeans, a, a solid crop top. You can still show the belly. Could take the sunglasses off. Wear your hair down or a high bun. Do the clear shoes instead of the khaki shoe. How could she have improved this look, chat? Moving on to the, the next young lady. Go ahead, introduce yourself, all that. You give me a little three shades. Baby girl has on the poster girl dress. I know they made a poster girl dress. Every girl in the spot is going to have on the same outfit. You will not stand out. Something else I'm noticing is she has on Ugg slippers, an elevated croc. If you are going to wear a dress, put on a heel. Put on a heel or go barefoot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Not a Ugg slipper. That was a house shoes. That's getting in the car, not getting out the car, going through the drive through shoe. That is not to show up to meet a rapper. That's not for that baby love. They're trying to dab me up? Yeah, no precious. Precious. And then she dabbed him up. He don't want to hold me. He wants to see you as his girlfriend. It gives off a masculine vibe. Let's move along. How you doing? Oh, okay. She came up here confident. She said, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to have it all hanging out, but I'm not going to be shy about it. And from the looks of it, it looks like she stepped up to his face like, what are we doing, Jeff? Now, I wouldn't suggest you to step up to a man's face. Give it a little bit of breathing room. We want to leave a little room for him to choose. Um, yeah, you can go to the left, too. Chat, what do we think of her outfit? The reason I think he said to the left, although she is confident, I don't think this outfit flatters her body. I think she could, again, wear a long dress and a heel. We have to stop with the Ugg slippers. Get rid of them. They're not to be worn to go meet a man. You're not to meet a man in a public space with Crocs on or Ugg slippers. It's a no. I want to say this to my girls, girl to girl. You shouldn't be hanging out of your dress or your skirt. You shouldn't see some of your bum bum hanging out of your dress or your skirt. Leave a little bit to the imagination. Even if that is your vibe, even if you get down like that, you still want to leave a little to the imagination. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. Janera, how you doing? How you doing, Janera Bird? She's in a very comfortable outfit. Seems like something you will wear on a Sunday if you're getting up early to go out with the kids to Target. Or maybe you're just meeting up with friends real quick for coffee. I don't know what's going on. This may be a 21, 22 year old thing. But wearing your house slippers outside to meet a man is unacceptable. The sweatsuit, too comfortable. It gives, I just didn't, I ain't have time. Ash, I didn't want to put on no dress. He going to take it or leave it energy. No effort. Janera, how you doing? How you doing, Janera, bro? Let's keep it moving. Let's... <laughs> My name is Tay. Uh, so what I'm noticing about Tay, Tay is in shape. Tay gives model energy, but the confidence is not there. She looks a little uncomfortable, like, mm, I don't know, is he going to pick me? I'm not sure. That's what her body language is given. Maybe just a solid black dress. No red. It could have stayed that short because she is meeting a rapper, right? So short dress, maybe a higher heel, like a stiletto black heel. The bag is too big. Too big. This bag is for running errands, going to school, meeting up with friends, throwing your laptop, your books, your paper, your extra stuff. This is not for date night. Take the glasses off your head. I love a lash. I love a big lash. But these look a little too long. And I, it may take away from her just a little bit. Go to the left, take. You guys are liking this video. If you are enjoying it, and subscribe to the channel. Let me say this to my young 21s. Okay? Something that I wish I heard more at 21, 22, and 23. You are that girl. You don't even realize you are that girl. And a lot of people in your life don't want you to know it. They see it, but they don't want you to be aware of it. 
clean up the look. Create some goals for yourself. Buy some solid black dresses. They don't have to look like grandma. You don't got to look like auntie. You don't have to look like an old lady. You can still wear your short dresses, show a little cleavage, right? But make sure they are solid. Make sure you have a stiletto black heel. Make sure you have a little clutch. Make sure you have a little clutch. Something just small that you can hold in a palm of your hand versus a big bag. Because I used to be the girl in New York City at 21 with the big duffel bags, putting my flats in there, putting on the heels. No house slippers, no Crocs, no poster girl dresses. I don't want to see it. We are elevating our look in 2024. How you doing? How you doing, Maya? What are we noticing in every video? The confidence. Maya, you're beautiful. You're young. You can be beautiful and older before y'all start. Back up. Walk up there like the world is your oyster. Hi, how are you? I'm Maya. How you doing, Maya? Oh, you go to the left. Else. Now let's break down Maya's outfit. I like the sandals, but I don't think they're appropriate with this outfit or for this occasion. Again, ladies, put on a heel. Once upon a time, the girls wore heels everywhere. She's a slim girl, meaning she can wear just about anything. She can go into any store, get her little $20 dress that looks halfway decent and put that on. A blue dress would have looked nice. A red dress would have looked nice. No phone in your hand, Maya. Put it in your purse. Take the strap off of the purse and hold your purse in your hand like a clutch. I like that your hair is long. I would have untucked it from behind your ear and let it fly. Let it loose. Long blue dress, long red dress. A nice heel and a nice clutch and tuck your phone away. Oh, you go to the left, my go right, my left. That was the last girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think all the women in the video were beautiful. Everyone has room for improvement. I created three tips to help you get your dream guy. So the girls going to get these rappers. If you want a singer, if you want an NFL, if you want a blue collar, white collar man, no matter who you want in the world, there are a few things I want you to think about. I'm going to give you three tips to attract your dream man. Now I can help you attract them, but it's up to you to keep them. Number one is aesthetics. Now I want you to think, when you think of your dream guy, when these women, the 20 women were showing up for this rapper, did they think, how does he dress? Does he work out? How does he groom himself? What is his diet like? Does he take pride in his appearance? Does he wear jewelry? These are the things that you need to look at. If these young women were showing up, we're just using them as example with this man. If you know his aesthetic is rapper, diamonds, ripped jeans, Ameris, the latest sneakers, Louis Vuitton shirts, how would you need to show up to match his fly? So these are the questions I want you to think about when you think of your dream man. Does he bathe every day? Does he work out or does he only, does he sit on the couch all day in the basement? Like, does he take pride in his appearance or does he walk out into the world with stains on his shirt, crust in his eye and bad breath? These are the things you have to think about. Is he into big gaudy diamond jewelry or is he a simple man? Maybe just a Rolex. Think about his background. Where did he grow up? Right? If we're going back to this wrap up. Again, if you're showing up to be chose for the 20 woman versus one, where did he grow up? Did he have both parents? Did he attend college? Has he ever opened a book in his life? Does he have a bookshelf? Is he a drinker or a smoker? Is he smoking on reefer? Is he a cigar type of man or a cigar type of man? Is he into 1942, Don Julio or Tito? Okay, these are the things you want to think about. What are his hobbies? Does he have podcast equipment where he sits in a basement and just gossip about men and women? Or does he go out and bike ride and run marathons? 
Describe his character. These are the things I want you to think about when you think of your dream man. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure you like this video and subscribe, okay? All right. Are you his dream girl? Now, this is the most important slide, ladies. So when these ladies, the 20 women showed up for this guy, whether they were into him or not, or they wanted to go viral, are you his type? How would he want you to dress? How would he want you to speak? What pictures does he like on social media? What are the girls? Who are the girls that he follows? What do they look like? So sometimes thinking about not only who he is, what does he like? I want you to comment in the comment section and say, hmm, Am I his dream girl? Okay, these are the things I want you to think about. Now, fellas, I say this with all the respect and love in my heart. Before you jump in the comment section and talk about, oh, yeah, she should change for me and do this, that, 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 me. Think about what you need to work on, sir. Think about the areas of your life you need to work on. Before you comment, before you tell women about the thousand things they need to work on, Everyone has room for improvement. Everyone. So this video, this channel was created to help you elevate not only your looks, but your confidence. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. And we will be doing a lot more videos like this. Tune in on Fridays on YouTube for Fashion Fridays. Love you guys. Bye.